So we got Hickory, Jillian, and somebody else. I don't, I can't think of their name right now, but somebody else I can't stand. Oh, this is going to be a great episode starting off. Jill, you way over the age you know, to be back there playing footsie and kissing on Cotton like that. You don't miss him. You too old for that shit and don't nobody want to see that shit. And ain't nothing that goddamn funny. So what the fuck you back there laughing about? Hold on. Who is this Hillary bitch and where's the real Hillary at? Cause this bitch not to come at the time acting crazy and messing with people. Where this, where the old Hillary at? We want the old Hillary back. At least she was a bitch and she was enjoyable. There's newfound Hillary. I don't like her. I like cussing out Hillary. And for y'all that didn't know I'm talking down, I don't like that. Not now, damn bitch. Oh, so we put a play along with this gang. Jillian miss her damn husband, Colin. The other gold digger, thirsty bastard. Oh, okay. Girl, you know damn well you don't miss that man. You don't miss him not one bit. That footsie shit y'all playing. I'm calling bullshit. So Jillian sitting her ass here thinking she actually doing something or doing something grand competing these three together. She actually think, girl, Jill, everything you touch is gonna turn the gonna turn the sand. Girl, you are not the business type woman. You the woman that you the woman at the end of the damn train that like the kind of to take the money after the world that is back being collected for that day or that month or that week or year. That what you is. You the you the cash handing lady. You is not the business type, Jill. Cut that shit off thinking you doing something. Cause you ain't doing shit but causing headaches. <laughs> so Phyllis up here dreaming a damn building. And them getting married, talking about no more hiding, no more confusion, no more. It is not going to be that easy. You dreaming, you delusion, if you think it's going to be that easy. Honey, you'll be lucky if you even really put a ring on your fucking finger. And you say, yes, better yet, walk down the damn aisle. You really mm. is thinking hard, aren't you? You really think you ain't really fit to get married. So apparently, for what I can gather together, I can fast forward and help the born shit. So O'Neal pushed his family out of his life. They've been writing him um letters, probably emails and all that. And he was Neil, what the hell you didn't did Neil? Now look, don't tell me you've been a hypocrite for all these damn years. I only recently called you a hypocrite out of all these years. You mean to tell me you avoiding your damn parents and they writing you letters and shit. I Nearly ask him why, because I'm clear to know this motherfucking shit. You sit up here, I got your parents worrying about you, right? And when you ain't had nothing right to say, respond back. Hey, how you doing? Or don't text me or nothing. Really, Neil? Oh, I can't wait for this shit. I love you, Colin. I love you. I love you. I love you. Tell that bitch to leave that boy alone, and she down here for some reason. Uncover it, Colin. Uncover what your little gold digger doing. She up to something. I don't put nothing past her. When she being messed, she's up to something. She ain't thinking about you. She thinking about Billy in that first dance. That's what's wrong with her. A lot of things wrong with Phyllis. But as of late, last of lately, it's Billy on the brain. That's what tends to happen to people when they have Billy on the brain. They can't think straight. Oh, so they fit to find out what's so bad and what's so hurt that Neil can't forgive his own damn man, man. That right there ought to tell you Neil ain't no good. If you can't forgive your goddamn mama for whatever the fuck she did to you or uh, whatever else going on with your family, your family, there's something literally wrong with you. You can't forgive your mama. Okay, it need be nothing that damn bad unless she killed your daddy or something like that. I don't, I don't know now. It might be bad. I might be talking out of soon. But still, you can at least talk to the lady if you don't forgive her. Neil, what the hell is wrong with you? Please don't tell me he mad at his man because she cheated on his daddy. Really, Neil? That's something to look... Neil, you always have been a petty fucker. Is that what you depressed about all these years? You are old man and you still pressed about... 
Neil, I'm just going to pray for you. You never have you never have been right in the head neither. I don't know why I'm so surprised that you can't let go of this secret. You're like, I, I don't mind you. Uh, fuck Hillary. That bitch deserved not to be forgiven. Hell, you are blind and shot bitch up here cheating on you. Oh, fuck no. Fuck her. Throw her in the fire. But as for your mama, the one that gave you birth, you can at least talk to that woman. Now, I'm going to get on your ass about that. But as for her every time I forgive her, but if she can burn all she wants to, I can care less. Jill and Kane, creepy ass daddy. So apparently Jill got this secret that she hiding and Creeper calling want to know about it. So now he said, if you don't tell me, I'm going to find it in my own way. <laughs> really? Yeah, that, no, no wonder she come running her ass at the town, changing the house back and all this other bullshit. Jillian, what you up to? Uh, we know it ain't we know it ain't for your time. It you got to be a dollar amount on that on that for you to be down here being messy, the being general city being messy. So what's your real reason for being in general city then, jail? Who that well you then found some extra money that you can keep. That what it is. You didn't find you some way to fuck you to some more money. Yeah, 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 sure, fearless. You wanna start all over from the mishaps to wrong turn. Yeah, how many of these wrong turns you plan on returning back to Cinder and getting over Billy finally? But yes, you want to do this together. But yes, you don't want to be in the cheating helper at the moment. But yes, you want another wedding. Are you trying to tell Jack that you want to renew your vows with him? That's what you're getting at, bitch. I see you. Oh. <laughs> so Victoria had her pellet ready for Bill, old Billy boy ever said, fuck that, let me go. On. So he didn't left Victoria for the Victoria house, and now when the episode ended. If you like that video, give it a thumbs up, share, comment, subscribe if you're new to my channel. All my social media down in the bottom bar, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.